we have Broken Machine by Nothing But Thieves. Um, another band never heard of, but don't feel as bad about it as I do for bands like Alphaville, because they've only released one album before this. So it's not like they've been around for years and years. Yeah, personally, I came across someone uh, tonight with Jules Holland a couple of months ago, so I was a vague passing knowledge of them. Mm. Even though it's very recent. I mean, they've been around f- since 2012, and their first album was released in 2015. So it's not like they've got this huge catalogue which makes you go, Oh, um... Where do I start? But yeah, uh, I quite like this album. It is a pretty solid album, I think, yeah. I think that's to modern rock, as they presumably call it, the, the kids these days. <laughs> the kids these days. We're only 28, dear. <laughs> well, actually 28 yet. Yeah. We've been a month, but literally a month. Yeah, it's a month until your birthday, so Shh. remember to send all your all your Calafina stuff to. Where are you even going with that? I don't know. I don't even have your address, so I can. I might just get your address off you simply so I can say if you wish to. Even the tangent going off the tangent just doesn't go anywhere. Uh... Uh, what a mess. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah, back, to the, uh, back to the topic at hand. Indeed. Um, it kind of feels like sort of early 2000s rock a lot of the time. Well, this is someone I saw mention um, in the lab I was looking at them the other day. It's like, it sounds very familiar, but also fresh at the same time. Hmm. I mean, there's kind of, at times, a bit of a Foo Fighters mixed with the Distillers feel to it. You can definitely hear the Foo Fighters in there. Yeah. Um... You've got occasional 80s synth pop sounds going on, um, mainly in sort of like the middling songs. There's definitely a few influences there, but if we if I just only mention it, it actually does sound very close to the kind of thing that we're hearing here. Yeah, just none of the bits that bore me. I'm sorry, I. I love Dave Grohl as an artist, but the Foo Fighters, most of their stuff kind of leaves me cold. So this, this is kind of a. If you want the Foo Fighters, but with a few more elements mixed in. But not. <laughs> yeah. Um, Overall, uh, I think the album is pretty solid. I mean, there's nothing I really change about it. We need to see where they go after this. Mm. Also interested in checking out the first album though. So. Yeah. Personal favourites on the album. I'd say I'm Not Made By Design and Afterlife are pretty strong ones. I think one of the first ones I heard was... I was cool. Already managed to forget the fucking name of it. Amsterdam. Mm. I think Amsterdam, Amsterdam especially, clearly has a lot of Foo Fighters kind of style thing going on there. Yeah. But I really like that song. Mm. Um, Reset Me is also a pretty good song. I say, when I first listened to the album, um, I was just a kid to do that to me as well. It's probably a good thing to sing it is the opening song of the album. A good place to start, I think. Like a crunchy opening. Yeah. You were just mentioning quite a few occasions about how important it is to have a solid opener to your arm. Yeah. So another thing that does make me kind of think of in places a little bit is um, Boil Blood. Mm. Which is most definitely a good thing. I don't rather like Boil Blood, so... Not familiar with them. They just had their second album out pretty recently, I think about the end of last year. Mm. So they're another pretty close, not as a recent band as well. Yeah. If one's doing 13. So. I recommend checking them out. Well, actually, the second album came out in June this year, so even more recent than I thought. Mm-hmm. Yeah. One thing I quite liked, um, and this is where we come into a bit of a interesting area, because you do have a closing track, technically, but there are two more songs after that, but you can't really consider them part of the main running, because what they are is acoustic versions of songs earlier on the album. Ah, uh, good old acoustic tracks. I always like the idea of acoustic versions. It's a case of just hearing the same song in a different light. Yeah. It's always interesting to hear. It shows a vested interest in what you're creating when you can produce it in different formats and mediums and all that sort of thing. Um, I mean, they're they're definitely great redos. Um, I'd say I do actually prefer the acoustic version of Sorry to the original version. Hmm. Um, both versions are great, it's just I pre- personally prefer the acoustic version. 
I think that's something like that. It, it does work to have kind of more faster track, as it's called. Kind of instrumental going on with it. Mm. Kind of change, but it doesn't really say change the kind of feel or theme of the song, but it kind of emphasises it more. Yeah, it's kind of the stripped down effect that with something like that, you kind of need to have a raw feeling to it. Um, what would you give them out of five? Um, I think 3.75, 4 ish, aren't here. I'm inclined to go with a 4, because it's a very solid album. Um, there's nothing I'd cut. Um, there are stronger songs than others, but that, that's the case with any album. But overall, I really like this album. Yeah, well, I think it's a very strong album, and that was a second ago. I am looking forward to see what they do next. Yeah. So, I have pretty, pretty big hopes for these guys now. I've uh, listened to this album and I enjoy it. So, if you hear the name around, haven't checked them out, I recommend checking them out because you might find something you like. If you like Foo Fighters, I definitely recommend them because they're probably the closest style wise. Mm. I mean, when I was saying sort of distillers vibe as well, um, that's mainly in sort of um, certain vocal effects kind of feel that way. That's the easiest way I can describe it. But yeah. A solid album, and the band I'm going to probably be interested in following in the future. And that's probably one of the positive things you can possibly have, I guess. We're looking to more stuff by a band than they've done their job right. Yeah. So, next album. It was only ever you. 